Yeah, yeah, that is that is I have already written. Given a input symbol and a current state, I I can uh, switch to more than one state, and I don't know. Uh, and that is the non-determinism about it. I don't know what is the exact state I am reaching. Okay, so this is the first thing. Second thing you can see a while I am in state Q2, I have only mentioned the symbol A, not mentioned the symbol B. So for the input symbol B, for input symbol, for a input symbol, we may or may not have any transition. Understood? So I haven't mentioned B while I am in state Q2. Okay, but uh, in DFA you have to uh, give for every possible symbol and current state we need to mention what is the next state. Okay. So, so we uh, we may or may not have any transition. That means we'll have an empty transition. It, okay. So, uh, now let us uh, discuss something about uh, 2 to the power q uh, which uh, uh, the, uh, she was talking about. So, uh, so, let q be the finite number of states. Then what is 2 to the power q means? Now, 2 to the power q is called power set of q. So, what is a power set of q? Now, suppose q is my a, b, c. Then, what is 2 to the power q? 2 to the power q will contain every possible combination of the states. That means, it can have an empty state. Okay, It does not contain any element a, b, c or it will be a only one element or it will be taken two at a time that that is understood or it will have all the three. So that is why it is called 2 to the power q that means if I have three elements in the state uh, in the uh, in the finite set of states q then in the power set I will have how many elements I will have 2 to the power 3 elements understood this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 okay I will have 2 to the power 3 elements in the in the power set of q so now let us go to the uh, you understood the power set so uh, yeah so, so now let us go to the mathematical definition of this uh, NDFA. Okay. So, as she has uh, rightly pointed out, uh, the mathematical definition of a NDFA is it is a finite automata which is uh, which can be represented as a five tuple M. Okay, where uh, Q is the set of states. Uh, sigma is the alphabet set my uh, then uh, starting state will be q0 then there will there will be a finite state qf and the only difference is the transition function so what this transition function means now the transition function means a mapping of set of states q and the alphabet to the power set of q that is okay so this is the transition function we call mapping of the first set of states and the alphabet set to 2 to the power q okay Now, now why NDFA? I can. Uh, it has been observed that NDFA's 
are much easier to express kyunki because uh, because uh, i don't have to take care of okay what is this state i just have to uh, either of, uh, if there is a transition i have to mention it otherwise i'll leave it means uh, i do not have to ex express explicitly the other input symbol transitions okay means i do not have to say that okay uh, means for a if q1 is moving to q2 uh, for other symbols b c d uh, you have to tell that okay it will go to the reject state in a dfa but here in ndfa you you don't have to mention it uh, you just uh, discard it okay so that is the that is it is not much easier to express from a higher abstract level of language okay now let us see uh, let us see uh, uh, suppose i give an example that uh, suppose a language is a set of words which has only one uh, a means uh, suppose the language is my only a single element string that is a my alphabet is a okay how will i create a nfa for it i will create a nfa for it like it is a starting state q0 and with a it will go to q1 and that will be my final state understood i don't have to mention that okay if i am in q1 and again i get a a what will happen that thing i do not have to express in a ndfa i just say that okay if i am in q0 i get a a i'll go to q1 okay now but in dfa what you have to do what you have to, you have to do okay i am in starting state q0 i get a a i go to q1 okay and q1 is my final state now if any other a comes further a comes i go to the reject state okay q2 and in q2 i shouldn't have uh, this is the reject state so this correctly defines that l will have a single string having a single symbol a in a dfa but in nfa it is just q0 to q1 with a single uh, transition a in this way it is a different so it is much easier so so it has been found out that a ndfa is much easier to express a given language okay so now the second thing what is the language accepted by a nfa so uh, before that let us go to the transition functions first just a minute let us uh, spend some time on yeah tell me no 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 i am not uh, uh, repeat i am not uh, telling any questions i am telling that uh, before uh, doing any problems let us uh, spend some time on the transition function of a ndfa okay so so uh, the let us uh, start with the same thing this symbol q0 then i have a transition to q1 with a then i go back to with transition b then with this i'll remain in ab or i go to q2 which is my final state and this is a uh, with a this is happening and it, it with b also a comma b so can someone tell me uh, what will be the transition function for this thing suppose i am in state starting state q0 and i get the input symbol a what will be the output of the transition function what it is written as this way because it is not a single state it it can be a set of states so it is q1 correct 